This is the ultimate retinoid showdown. What's best for you, retinol, adapalene, or prescription tretinoin? They're all vitamin A derivatives that go into the cell and bind to nuclear receptors to create magic. They'll help with acne, hyperpigmentation, and increase collagen production, thus reduce fine lines and wrinkles. But retinoids are not created equal. And they all bind to different receptors with different affinities and selectivities. Retinol needs to be converted twice to become active retinoic acid. This is a gentle way to start your retinoid game for beginners. You wanna work on fine lines and wrinkles, but no teenagers and young adults do not need this. I say consider starting a retinol for anti-aging purposes in your mid 20s and up. Now adapalene is a synthetic retinoid that does not need to be metabolically converted to go into the cell and do its magic. This is great for mild to moderate acne, for inflammatory acne, and for those clogged pores. And so it's great for teens and young adults with acne. Does it work so much on fine lines and wrinkles? There's only a couple of studies out there that support this. I wanna see larger studies. For now, I'd say if you wanna work on anti-aging, go for retinol or the GOAT. Tretinoin. This is prescription only, and this is retinoic acid right off the bat. It's ready to go, go into the cell, start gene transcription. Definitely adds a bigger punch when it comes to collagen production. It has a lot of evidence backing it up when it comes to fine lines and wrinkles and reversing photo aging, but it does get points knocked off for tolerability. And so I say this is for advanced users. I never feel bad if you go into your visit and just say like, hey, let's talk about tretinoin today, doc. Be happy to talk about it. Do not use any of these if you're pregnant.